Lusaka, the capital of Zambia. It is also the most populous region of the country. Many say that it is the fastest growing city in southern Africa. The Zambians are a young and vibrant nation. Where English is the main language, with plenty of Njanja and Bemba spoken on the streets. Lusaka has a population in excess of 1.7 million people. This year, the city plays host to the Kana Zone 4 Swimming Championships. We join proceedings at the OICD Pool Complex, where the opening ceremony is in progress. No less than 12 countries and approximately 300 swimmers will take part in the four-day competition. The Nomo Kanjane art dancers welcome the teams in their hospitable, traditional Zambian way. Country representatives proudly display their country flag during the march past procession. Many of the participants are young and haven't traveled much. This is undoubtedly a major highlight in their short swimming careers. Our members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and lastly, but never the least, our amazing swimmers. Welcome to Zambia. On behalf of the Executive Committee of the Zambian Swimming Union, I would like to welcome you to the OID's Swimming Pool Complex and to the 2020 Kana Zone 4 Swimming Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, 300 swimmers all come together here with the desire and passion to not only win, but to be better individuals through sports is encouraging. This is evidence of the power of sports to unite and ignite friendship as well as passion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these young athletes you see today are the ones that will change the landscape of sports worldwide and indeed the trajectory of our nation. Next up, the president of Kana, Zone 4. We gather here in Lusaka, Zambia, after two traumatic years of the COVID pand pandemic. It has had a major impact on all of us, not just in a sporting sense, but also in a personal one. Many of us have lost friends, family, and colleagues over the last two years. We have however managed to adapt to this difficult situation and are once again gathered for the Kana Zone 4 Championships here in Lusaka, Zambia for the 18th edition of this event. The official oath for the officials was read. In the name of all the judges and the officials, I promise that we shall officiate in these Kana Zone 4 Championships with complete impartiality respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them in the true spirit of sportsmanship. I thank you. Greetings to you all. I have been given the honor to present the athletes oath. In the name of all competitors, I promise that we shall take part in these Kanas on four championships, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern them, committing ourselves to a sport without doping and without drugs, in the true spirit of sportsmanship, for the glory of sport and the honor of our teams. Thank you. The Zambian Ministry of Youth, Sport and the Arts is fully behind the continental event. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with these remarks, I now take the singular honor to declare the 2022 Kana Zone 4 Swimming Championship officially open. Thank you. Ooh. 
The wait is over and the competition can begin. The format is all age groups, 12 and over, timed finals over a four-day period. Now I think it's to start to see where they are and, and how far they've progressed in, in uh, their competitions and training. Uh, some countries have not been fortunate enough to have any training for a while. So, you know, it's catch-up uh, time that they need to have. Um, we've also had some countries not come into the event because they're still not uh, uh, out of the restrictions in their own countries. So I think it's still, uh, you know, early days in terms of their getting used. But I must say, I, I've seen some very good swim from, from some of the teams and hopefully they, they're starting to catch up and get back to where they were two years ago. I think it's quite encouraging to see the size of this uh, competition. I think we have close to 300 athletes, athletes participating in this competition. It's very encouraging considering that, that uh, since the uh, uh, onset of the pandemic, we weren't able to swim physically. And uh, in last year we did a virtual competition. So for the athletes to come out and swim physically and compete against each other is fantastic. And we're quite happy about it. Everyone is out to prove their value a great opportunity. To kick off the Kana Zone 4 swimming competition, we look at highlights of the 800 meter freestyle final for women 14 years and younger. Eight lanes take to the water with Namibia the closest to camera at the bottom of the screen. Uganda's Karima Katemba has the best seating time. She's in lane four. On her right in lane three is Zambia's Michaela Ohm. At the first turn, you'll notice that there are 15 laps to go. Katemba and her Ugandan teammate Kiati Despande turn first. They are pacing themselves very cautiously. It's uh, a wonderful opportunity for this competition to be held here in Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, we are privileged to host uh, over 300 uh, participants from uh, 12 uh, different countries. Uh, some of them obviously our wonderful neighbors. Uh, it's been wonderful to showcase our Zambian friendliness and our hospitality. And uh, we hope to uh, be able to host more games such as this one in this uh, country and in Lusaka. 13 laps to go and Namibia's Michaela Ohm has a slight edge. I'm here representing Anoka uh, Zone 6, which is our Southern Africa Olympic Committees. And uh, we've just signed the Memorandum of Understanding with the sports confederations of Southern Africa, where Kana Zone 4 falls under. And in this MOU, as Anoka Zone 6, we are here to offer our solidarity as an Olympic movement to ensure that we support all confederations, Kana Zone 4 included, who support them financially, technically, ensuring that through solidarity funds, uh, we leverage on the already uh, existing programs of the solidarity by ensuring that uh, all the uh, national federations benefit from this. We need to maximize uh, from these uh, benefits. Uh, you know, this is a, a chance for our athletes, more especially those that are participating for the first time, to showcase their potential and ensure that uh, our technical team prepares. As ANOCA Zone 6 now with the Sports Confederations, our aim is to ensure that we prepare our athletes well for Paris 2024 and of course going uh, beyond to uh, uh, Los Angeles 2028 and of course Brisbane uh, 2032. We pick up the race with five laps to go in this 800 meter freestyle final. I think if you look at the, in the history of this competition, from its humble beginning, beginnings in 2002 to the current uh, uh, participation levels, I think there's been a steady improvement of performance 
of uh, countries across Southern Africa. I was uh, looking today that uh, Malawi have 18 swimmers participating in this competition. And when we started off, uh, they had very low numbers. So obviously it's growing and uh, we're quite happy about that. And hopefully as we go into the future, they will become stronger and stronger and increased competition is always good for performance improvement. Michaela Ohm now turns for the final time, 50 metres to go. She has a commanding lead on the rest of the swimmers. This is extremely valuable experience for these swimmers. They need all the competition they can get. 10 minutes, 40.19 seconds, a great win for the Namibian. Two more laps to go for the slower finalists. Uganda's Karima Katemba is the second swimmer to finish. She is exhausted. Eshuatini's Haley Hoy captures the third place and makes it to the podium. The second Uganda swimmer, Dish Pande, finishes in fourth, just out of the medals. This is Chloe Rousseau, the second Namibian finalist, finishing now in lane 8. An interesting race to get the Kana Zone 4 event for 2022 underway. Come on, come on, did you hear right? Come on, yeah, come on. Many exciting showdowns and we'll feature highlights over the next few weeks. This has been Super Swimmer. I'm Derek Alberts, please stay safe and thank you for watching.